Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm a studio associate professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe. It's a beautiful sunny fall day here in Chicago. As I mentioned in my previous video that I recorded not too long ago, we're having some Indian summer here so it's about it's about 70 degrees and sunny. Shout out to all of my students. I hope your semester is going well. We're approaching midterm in the fall of 2020. In many ways it's been a challenging semester, but in many ways it's been a really nice semester and some really good work is being produced by my students. Today's video we're going to look at using Kangaroo 3D for what I call a drape or a collide. So here we see this mesh plane and it's falling down on a sphere in Grasshopper so it's draping itself around it. So we'll look at how to set this up. Alright before we jump into the tutorial if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel please go ahead and search me up on YouTube click on the big red button with subscribe in it click on that click on the bell to receive all the notifications. If you're an architecture student or an architect, there's something here for everybody and I keep adding videos all of the time. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also connect with me on Instagram at my first name Alfonso underscore my last name Peluso. See what I'm up to. I recently ran a half marathon it was great to run a race in person, the first one that I ran since COVID started. See what my students are up to and what kind of work they're producing. See what some of my latest videos are. Go ahead and connect with me on Instagram. All right. Let's get started in today's tutorial. So the first thing that we're going to need is we're going to need a mesh plane. So let's let's get that set up here. Let's just going to move some of this stuff out of the way and disable this lower part of it, the definition. Okay, so we're going to start with a mesh plane. So I'm just going to double click and type in mesh plane. And I'm going to choose mesh plane. Okay, now mesh plane, it likes a rectangle for its boundary size. So I'm going to make a rectangle and I'm going to set the rectangle size 100 and both the X and the Y so it's just a square square plane. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise that plane up in 3D space. So I have a point that I'm going to use to anchor it to. So I have a point there. You can make a point just by typing in the command point in Rhino. And I'm going to bring that point into Grasshopper. Right click, choose set one point. Okay, and I'm going to plug that into my plane. Alright, so that moves my plane. So that's the plane that's going to drop over the sphere and collide with it. Okay, so that's our mesh plane. So our solid object is what we're colliding with. Okay, so I'm going to make, so let's start to label these. Okay, so this is my mesh plane. Now I need my solid object. And my solid object is going to be a sphere. And I'm going to make the radius 25. I'm working in feet, so 25 feet. All right, there we go. There's the radius of that. OK, what else do we need? We need some springs, OK? So this is mesh. All these edges need to be flexible so it could fall, so it could drape over that sphere. So. We're going to add our springs. OK, 
Okay, and I'm going to do that with a mesh edges. Okay, and we're going to plug all those mesh edges into what's called the list length. This is from Kangaroo. Should be under goals linear, goals line, so length line. All right, let's plug both of those into line, both my naked edges and my interior edges. Okay, those are my springs. Now I need a load strength. Okay, so we're going to add a load here. So that's going to be under goals point load. Okay. The points that we're going to apply the load to, we have to apply them to all the points on this mesh. So it drapes down all the points on the mesh plane. So we're going to add a deconstruct mesh. And we're going to plug our mesh plane into that. And we're going to take all these vertices and plug it into point. And then the force vector is going to be in the Z direction. And I'm going to start with a really small load. So how about 0 0.005 less than 2.555. OK, so we'll start there. OK, so copy and paste the scribble. All right, so that's my load. Okay, what else do we need? We have our springs, we have our load strength, and now we need a solid point collide. Okay, so that one is going to be under goals collide, which we'll use solid point collide. Okay, so our points, our points are coming from our deconstruct mesh. Our solid is our sphere. Okay, copy and paste the scribble. That's our solid point collide. All right, then we're going to have floor and show. I'm going to leave floor out of this for a little bit. Uh, let's put in a show, though, so we can show the mesh. Okay, that's going to be our mesh plane that we're showing, the new version of it. All right, copy and paste one of these scribbles. I just realized I've been working without bifocals on. That helps you guys at home for sure. Okay. All right, so I'm going to plug this into, I'm going to plug all these goals, these kangaroo goals into a merge. So my springs, my load, my solid point collide, my show. All right, let's, let's get a bouncy solver out here. And we'll get a button for the reset. So right now you see that thing is floating, floating away. It's floating up, 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 and away with the small amount of load that we have on it. So we want it to go in the in the negative z direction. So I'm going to set this up so that there is a negative in between it. So now it's dropping back down. It should should collide with that sphere. Okay, while that's happening, I need a list item on the other side here. And we're going to add a 
custom preview. Okay, so let's let's hide everything else. Shift Control I inverts. Right click preview off. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty awesome. Draping down over the sphere. Okay, so let's look at the load. Now, if we get the load stronger, we can get it to actually, since it's physics, we can get it to actually fall off of the sphere. It starts to fall, it starts to rotate, and there it goes. See ya. Alright, so something to keep in mind. Let's uh, let's lower that load back down. Now it's just gonna it's still gonna fall on that with that load, it's just gonna fall a lot slower. So we can look at something called damping. And it's something I wanted to look at in, in my previous videos and I've just forgotten to, so hopefully people are, are watching this video here. So uh, damping is set to 0.99 between 0 and 1. Value between 0 and 1 for how much velocity is preserved between iterations, how much velocity. So if I didn't want it to fall off the sphere, could I set this to 0? Let me set it. Let me make this 0 0.000. Plug that into damping. Let's see what happens. All right, so we're not getting any movement on that. Yeah, so now we're getting some of it. So we're adjusting the velocity of this. And then we could also adjust how many iterations. Right now it's going through 10 iterations. So say I only want it to go through 5 iterations. So this is just some more control, especially in the the live soap examples which it didn't look at damping and iterations um, that becomes really important in this situation alright let's put this back up to one <laughs> oh that's so cool alright so I want to add a floor the last thing I want to add is a floor object to it so we're gonna add a floor and we'll plug that into our our merge okay now it's gonna now it's hitting a floor that floor object is at the origin it is at zero 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 so you see it's landing on that floor and that floor has a strength to it right now that strength is one if I put in 0, 0.00, that is gonna, it's not gonna see the floor anymore. So it's just gonna fall through the floor. If I add some strength, it adds some strength to the floor. Zero starts to fall, add some strength, it lifts up. So it's just up to you how much strength you want that floor to have. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so that was just a quick little video on Kangaroo 3D Drape Collide. Hopefully I didn't forget anything in there. I'm glad I got to go over damping and iterations with you. If you found the video helpful, click on a thumbs up. Tell me in the comments why you liked it. My head's going to pop up. Click on my head to subscribe. In the upper right and lower left, you're going to see some more videos for you to watch. Alright, have a great one. We'll see you next time.